I just want to say good morning, buenos dias, and bienvenidos. Welcome to everybody. And thank you so much for being here. Um, for those of you coming from far away, and for those uh, who are coming from the university and the Twin Cities, um, it is great to have you all here. Uh, I want to start by thanking um, our two grad students that work so hard <laughs> to make this happen, uh, Carolina Non Suarez and Natalia De Fiel. So thank you so much. And also thanking um, the support that we got from our, our office in the Spanish and Portuguese department, uh, Catherine Linquist, Mark Cambro, and Angie Wren, uh, because really this was a lot of work. So I uh, would really appreciate that, that support. And um, I'm going to be very brief, but I need to thank all the sponsors uh, that make this possible. And those are the Institute of Advanced Studies, the Center for Holocaust and Genocide Studies, the Imagine Fund, the GPS Alliance, the Institute of Advanced Studies, the Center for German and European Studies, the Human Rights Program, the Department of Art, History, Neuroscience, Spanish and Portuguese, and the Spanish Ministry of Culture. And a very special thank you to CLA and the very, very generous support that we got to organize all the uh, lectures and workshops last year and this conference. And, uh, and I'm going to now call uh, Associate Dean Stephen Manson, um, representing CLA. So thank you so much for the support to have this conference and these dialogues. Thank you. And uh, thank you. It's good. I like this. This is a good room, good energy. I like this a lot. Um, so I'm the associate dean for uh, research and graduate programs in the College of Liberal Arts, or CLA. Um, <clears throat> and also thinking about what you've got going on here, you know, I spend most of my days uh, dealing with research. Um, although actually, I probably spend most of my days dealing with email and meetings about research. Um, but you know, I see a lot, and. Uh, I got to admit, I'm profoundly impressed by the, uh, the, the range and the depth of the folks that have been brought here today. I really appreciate you coming. Um, uh, I was taking a look at the roster, right? And this event brings together scholars from over a dozen disciplines. Um, when I look here at the uh, University of Minnesota, we've got the College of Liberal Arts, we have the medical school, we have the VA, uh, which isn't you know, part of the University of Minnesota, but you know, has a strong association with us. Um, and the College of uh, Education and Human Development, right? And that's just the people I know of here. Um, these research are joined uh, by uh, an impressive roster of visitors from around the globe. Um, I was going to list off the countries, and I'm actually a geographer, so you know I could actually do that with some facility. But the, frankly, there's too many. It's very impressive. Um, so we're joined by uh, renowned, renowned scholars, artists, uh, authors, filmmakers. Uh, I'm also very pleased to welcome uh, participants from organizations here in the Twin Cities uh, who bring their unique perspectives uh, to this meeting. So, um, like I said, I can't recall the last time I've seen such a profoundly interdisciplinary event. Uh, Brian and I were talking about this before, and um, I think it's the nature of the modern academy, maybe even the modern world, um, to sort of focus on and reward a certain amount of narrowness, right? I know that uh, that's one thing we wrestle with all the time, right? How do you bring in people from across disciplines and fields and so on? Um, this is one mechanism, right? We have a lot of hard work from the organizers here. We have a lot of people dedicating a lot of time and effort to come here. Um, and so you have a really rare opportunity here to engage in a deep and sustained reflection and how all these various disciplines and these artistic practices help us better understand memory, treat trauma, and address the legacies of past human right abuses, um, and with any luck, helping prevent new ones. So in addition to thanking you all for being here, um, I want to thank the organizers of this interdisciplinary collaborative workshop, or ICW, Ophelia, Anna, Brian. Um, 
this, this workshop, Memory, Trauma, and Human Rights, the Crossroads of Art and Science, um, the College of Liberal Arts has made a significant investment in this ICW program. Um, and I'll be honest, this group best exemplifies what we were looking for with this program. Um, it's really pursuing a kind of engaged scholarship that I feel is central to the mission of a land-grant university, and frankly, just university in general, as well as the many organizations that have come here today. Um, the team has been holding monthly lectures, workshops. Um, I know there's been a really well-received undergraduate course, right? And so and this is the kind of sustained effort that we need to kind of drive these larger conversations forward. Um, this project, which bridges the arts, the humanities, the social sciences, and medicine, will continue over next, uh, the next several years, right? Hopefully longer. Um, and further establish the U of M as uh, uh, an international leader in this vitally important field of interdisciplinary trauma studies. So, I know I say thanks a lot, but I'm a very thankful person, and I'm thankful you're here. Uh, I look forward to seeing what comes out of the next couple of days. Um, and uh, good luck. I'll leave you with that. Thank you.